I was uh, born in the northeastern part of the United States, born in New England, Hartford, Connecticut. As a child, one of my early memories was I had a fascination with microbes. I've known since I was a kid that I wanted to be a microbiologist and a scientist. My parents were very open and, and warm people. I, I often like to say everybody was their, their friend and they, and they showed great humanitarian compassion. I remember making a visit to Guatemala and um, and making rounds at the public hospital there, Hospital Roosevelt, and you know, seeing malnutrition and Chagas disease and, and kids severely emaciated. And I said, you know, how can this be that um, a hospital, I can fly to this hospital faster from where I was at Yale to Guatemala than I could many other parts of the United States and we allow this level of suffering right in our own backyard. And I think that was a that was a watershed moment for me that I have to do more than just be in the lab. I have to, as important as that is, I have to actively seek out ways to of the discoveries we make translate it for for helping diseases of the poor. I think if you know you have that humanitarian drive and lens you can do a lot, um, and um, and one of the things that I always advise young people is whatever your subject matter of interest is, as a subject matter expert, you have a very powerful voice if you choose to use it. Um, uh, but nobody hands it to you. You have to work hard and practice. My science partner for the last 20 years, Dr. Mary Elena Patazzi, is. Um, been heavily involved with ALF and I've been hearing about ALF for a long time and, and, and have been to some of the events and so it's a particular honor to, to join my good colleague and, and uh, Dr. Batazzi in, in, in this honor and for me it's particularly meaningful that I'm able to join her with, uh, on this road. I grew up in Honduras. I was born in Italy, grew up in Honduras, so I'm you know, a Hispanic woman, scientist, microbiologist, and I think what really made me who I am uh, was that, my, my roots, my Latin American roots, growing in a country that as you know, we have you know, all sorts of challenges, but the importance also of uh, equity um, and I think that really shaped not only, of course, my interest in science, biology, you know, um, but clearly looking for something that we could make this world better. As I was growing up, you know, as a little girl, you know, my, you know, I have very vivid memories of when with my family we used to travel to, to our cattle ranch. You know, so very appropriate. You know, I'm now a Texan and so I grew up, in fact, you know, with a family of cattle ranchers. But it was that, right, is that as you leave the urban settings and you go into the more rural settings, how slowly you see, you know, people live, they live differently. I've studied a lot. I have done all sorts of programs, scientific and even other leadership programs. But the experience that I got from being an ALFer it's just transformational. So I've learned a lot of how to be better listener, um, how to be more empathetic, uh, which maybe, you know, um, you don't realize, you know, your potential. And I think ALF, the first thing that reminded me was that I needed to first know myself. My vision and the outlook for the future, it's, you know, what we have been certainly predicating in our style of work, which is inclusivity. We have to um, continue listening to each other and learning from each other. Being academic, um, uh, hospital-based, anchored scientists, but trying to do um, work that really supports the health of the communities, not only in the U.S. but abroad, um, it's really our dream and, and I hope that we have achieved that.